Hi friend, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how to make this juicy oven baked chicken. Ooh child, you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. All right, friend, let's jump right into it. So this is the chicken that I'm going to be using. I'm using chicken drumsticks. And I always tell you, if you get the counter service and you go to like Mama's Meat Papa's Produce, you get your chicken way cheaper than you do like if you get it at a Walmart or Publix. So yeah, it's better if you get it from um, like a Mama's Meat Papa's Produce, you're going to get the best price. You see, I don't pay like $5 for all this chicken, okay? I got nine pieces of chicken drumsticks, okay? This right here and some rice, baby, you could feed a whole family for $15. Yes, you can. I'm trying to tell you so the first thing that i did was rinse off my chicken because you see when it was in that bag that thing wasn't looking too good it was looking kind of raunchy okay and that's why i clean my meat but if you don't want to clean your meat baby that's your business let's agree to disagree because you ain't gonna change your ways and i sure enough ain't gonna change mine <laughs> i'm trying to tell you i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take off this yellow thing at the top of the chicken okay i don't like it i don't like it make the chicken look a little raunchy i just don't like it so i'm removing it if you don't want to remove yours baby that's your business go ahead and leave it on all right so i did that to one of my chickens and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do that to all of the remainder of the chicken all i'm doing is taking my knife and pulling off the little yellow part it comes off very easily all right then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to dispose of that water that we had put in the chicken earlier and i'm gonna grab me some lime I'm going to grab me some lime so that I can clean my meat. I can sanitize my meat. So I'm going to grab me one whole lime, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some lemon juice. You could add lemon or lime juice. And I'm going to also add some vinegar. And the reason why we're cleaning the meat is not for bacteria. It's not for bacteria because people are quick to say, oh, well, well, that stuff don't kill bacteria. Well, friend, who told you it, it, it was because of the bacteria? It's because of the, the smell of the meat. That's why I do it. That's why we do it, okay? It's to take away that raw smell from the meat. Meat, so the meat don't smell like outside okay the meat the meat don't have that raw smell and um i know you're gonna say oh well when you go to a restaurant you know they don't do that they don't clean their meat and that's exactly why after the chicken's been sitting i cannot eat the meat i cannot eat the chicken it makes me gag because i smell the smell that i'm trying to tell you guys about so I, I, I have to clean mine mine's gonna sit in the refrigerator for two or three days and it's not gonna have that smell because i clean my meat Okay, so that's why I clean mine, even though you don't want to clean yours. I just thought I would, you know, let you know why I do mine. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put our little bowl right there. And we're going to start adding our seasoning. Okay, as you can see, I added some cayenne, some smoked paprika, some onion powder, some garlic powder. I'm going to add some um, chili powder. I'm going to add some salt and I'm going to add some poultry seasoning. And I'm also going to add some uh, slap your mama. Okay. And the first thing that you might be thinking is, oh, that's a lot of seasoning. It's really not because you have to remember garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, smoked paprika, and cayenne are all non-salt based seasoning. So there's no salt in them. So you're not going to make the food salty because there's no salt in those seasoning. It's just flavor. There's no salt. So the only things that we added for salt was salt the poultry seasoning and the slap your mama that's the only things we added for salt and you already know i'm gonna have the exact measurements and recipe for you in the description box below so have no fear your girl freddie is here okay all right then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to um rinse out the sanitizing make sure that we made earlier for our meat so it don't smell like outside and it don't smell raw and that chicken can be nice and clean okay then i'm gonna give it like two to three washes just until the water runs clear until there's no more um um lime little things hanging around all of that until it's completely gone okay then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna grab a paper towel you guys every time i pat my chicken dry with a paper towel you think about how if my parents see me doing this they gonna be mad they be they, they would have been mad because you know when you was a little girl or a little boy when you was a child and you using all your parents napkins like that they would have went off on you child you know they would have but guess what 
you the boss now you pay the bills in this house so you can do what you want but if you don't want to waste all that paper towel you can always use a cloth a clean cloth it's your house you know if the cloth is clean or if it's not baby that's your business and you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna pat it dry and the reason we're patting it dry is because we um when we put our seasoning in there we're gonna put some oil and we want the um oil to help the seasoning stick to the chicken and um if it's have too much moisture on it the oil not really gonna stick to the um chicken because you know oil and water separate so if the chicken is dry the oil is going to stick on the chicken and the ch um, seasoning is going to stick on the oil onto the chicken okay so make sure you pat it dry then I went ahead and put about two to three tablespoons of the um, olive oil, mixed that all together. Then I went ahead and I added my seasoning into that chicken, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to maneuver all that seasoning into that chicken. And I'm just going to make sure all that chicken gets some of that seasoning. So that's all the seasonings. That, that's the paprika. That's the um, cayenne. That's the onion powder, garlic powder, slap your mama, salt, poultry seasoning, okay? Then I'm going to also go ahead and I'm going to add one fourth cup of the jcs hot sauce okay if you don't want to add it that's your business you ain't got to add it but it's not going to make the chicken spicy the chicken was not spicy it was just like like right there like it had a hint of spice but it was not spicy but if you scared friend and you like nah freddy i don't like spicy food like that and i don't want to be spicy friend you ain't got to add it friend that's your business that's your food okay and don't even try to come for me for not using gloves. First of all, this is food for my house. This is my food, okay? Second of all, I had ran out of gl um, gloves, you guys. And I was literally um, marinating this chicken at 1 o'clock in the morning. And if you think I was going to wake my bald-headed behind kids up at 1 o'clock in the morning on a school night just to go get some gloves, you don't lost your rabbit behind mine because, baby, I show, I, I'm, I'm not, okay? So I'm just going ahead and I'm marinating it with my hands. My hands are very clean. And remember, this not your food. This my food. I'm just showing you how to do it. But this my food. So however you feel about it, you ain't got to eat it. <laughs> Okay? All right. So I went ahead and I put some of that seasoning underneath of the chicken. And I made sure all of the chicken got some of that seasoning, child. I made sure I took my time and I catered to the chicken. I showed that chicken that I love that chicken. Because I already know once I do that to the chicken, the chicken's going to show me it love me when it's time to go in my stomach. When it's time for me to eat, it's going to show me some love. And this is how the chicken look when it's nice and marinated. Child, that chicken look good as hell. That chicken look like it graduated from Harvard with flying colors. It was raised in a two-parent household, child. Look at that chicken. Its mama was the CEO of a multi-million dollar company. I'm telling that's how that CEO, that's how that, that chicken look. That's how that chicken look like. Whatever it's, 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 it want to do, it's going to do it great. Because that's that's how good we, we seasoned and marinated that chicken. And I let it sit in the uh, um um in the um refrigerator overnight okay overnight and i'm cooking it right now at that time i was cooking it it was around um four o'clock in the afternoon it, I, no it wasn't four because i still at work at four so i was cooking it at six o'clock after i had picked up my kids from school six o'clock okay and boom here we go i have the rest of my seasoning and you you better not throw that in the trash child go ahead and take a spatula and get all of the seasoning and put it on chop on top of the chicken because this is what 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 we we we, we um what's gonna make the chicken taste good okay okay and this it remind me of this dude i knew right he was an older man and he used to take Viagra because, you know, he was an older man. And, um, you know, when you take Viagra, it says if the um, erection lasts more than four hours, you're supposed to call a doctor. He said, call a doctor if the erection lasts more than four hours. If my wife can't take it, call another chick. I ain't calling no doctor. It might not come back up. That's how I feel about the seasoning. We we, we need the chicken to taste good. We, on, we, we, we need to go ahead and use all that seasoning, okay? We need all that seasoning, okay? What you mean throw it away? Throw what away we put it to waste for what no we need it all then i went ahead and i put some parsley on there you know to make it look good or whatever and it's gonna give it a little good a little nice flavor then i went ahead and i flipped them and i put some more parsley um on the chicken and i had seen one chicken with a little empty spot and it ain't had no seasoning on that little empty spot so you know i had to go and make a correction and put a little bit of seasoning on that little empty spot then i went ahead and i put my oven i preheat my oven at 400 degrees and I put my chicken in the middle rack for 30 minutes 
uncovered okay and after 30 minutes of being in a middle rack at 400 degrees i went ahead and took it out and this is how the chicken looked so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to flip my chicken on the other side i'm gonna flip all of them on the other side then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna place it back into the oven at 400 degrees uncovered in the middle rack for 30 more minutes okay and after that we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take it out and we're gonna see how it looks and this is how it looks friend okay this is how it looks now what i did was move all the chicken to the side and i went ahead and i got that gravy that was at the bottom of the chicken i got that sauce that was at the bottom of the chicken child okay i'm gonna get all that sauce and what i'm gonna do with that sauce is i'm going to use it on the top of the chicken to give the chicken that um some more juice some more flavor all the flavor so the flavor could stay there on the chicken and just won't sink to the bottom okay that's what i did so um here it is i'm just taking um the chicken and i'm putting it back in the um in um order or however you want to put it and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take my um spatula and i'm gonna um rub the sauce onto the spatula i'm gonna wrap rub the i'm gonna take the sauce with the spatula and put it on a chicken okay like that okay then after that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna place that chicken back into the oven for 10 Oh, I say to 10 to 15 minutes, okay? 10 to 15 minutes, still at 400 degrees and still at the middle rack, friend. And Boom, your chicken is done, child. Look at that oven baked chicken, child. Who child. Look at that bad boy. That thing look good. That mother sucker look good, okay? Because that, that chicken know it look good, child, okay? And this is how it look, you guys. I have to go ahead and take a bite, child. And look at the chicken. You could see the juices. You could tell that chicken juicy, child. Ooh, child. Ooh, I couldn't even put the chicken down, child. I tried to put it down. I really did. I tried to put it down. But next thing I know, I picked it up and I took another bite. Next thing you know, I picked it up again and I took another bite. I would have just showed y'all me eating this chicken. But you guys, I look like silly from the color the purple i was looking like all oh, was my life i had to fight Whew, i had a hair appointment the next day my hair i told you it was it was already six o'clock by the time i was done cooking it was already late friend i was looking like a mess so i couldn't show myself looking like that but friend as you can see that chicken was hitting Ooh, child, i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you thank you guys for watching do not forget to like do not forget to comment and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye until next time